what up guys nakamoto crypto here so today i'm gonna show you how you don't necessarily have to chase bitcoin and crypto all-time highs at every cycle to get rich you can play it using this method i'm about to show you to make a ton load of money where you don't necessarily have to hit the exact top hitting the exact top is almost a myth at this point stay tuned like and subscribe let's get right onto it so guys i want you to focus on this date here which is may 11th of 2020 and this video is probably gonna get maybe 50 to 100 views so i'm gonna need your help to uh, share it to somebody who's new to crypto and they don't like market volatility they want to navigate their way in and out of the market where they can make a ton load of money safely this is in my opinion one of the best methods that i don't talk about this much but today just please pay attention to this and if you like the video share it it would mean the world to me so with that being said let's go may 11th of 2020 what happened that day it is the exact date that bitcoin halved and mining rewards you know 12 btc per block cut down to 6.5 btc per block at this point most of you know what a bitcoin halving is so what that does it just increases the supply and demand economics so you know exactly what all of that thing is now i'm going to give you an example of three cryptocurrencies one is bitcoin one is ethereum and one is cardano right if you just used these three you would have made almost a half a million dollars just sitting on those three if you bought them at these exact date may 11th of 2020 the day bitcoin halved the price of bitcoin at that time was at exactly eight thousand six hundred dollars per btc now let's say you have fifteen thousand dollars in terms of dry powder to throw into the cryptocurrency market so you could get in at exactly may 11th 2020 and get out at exactly may 11th of 2021 so bitcoin was at eight thousand and six hundred dollars let's say you throw in five thousand dollars into btc that divided by eight thousand six hundred would have given you 0.58 btc let's round it up to like maybe 0.6 of a bitcoin so your 0.6 of a btc would be worth exactly one year later on may 11th of 2021 this much because the price of bitcoin was fifty six thousand dollars at that time you would have made thirty three thousand six hundred dollars this alone right here would have seven x your money so you would have made your money seven times within one year it gets better than that now let's go over to our second largest cryptocurrency by market cap which is ethereum now with ethereum on the exact date of a bitcoin halving may 11th 2020 again a single price of eth was at 185 dollars i know that's insane go and check it yourself 185 dollars per single eth remember we still have ten thousand dollars to go you got five thousand already into bitcoin and now the second five thousand dollars would go into ethereum so 5000 divided by 185 eth would have given you 27 ethereum tokens you know how people always talk about 32 ETH. you could have gotten 27 ETH if you bought it at that time so 27 ethereum would have gotten you exactly a year later may 11th 2021 a price of eth was at four thousand six hundred dollars and you would have made a hundred and twenty four thousand dollars but it gets better than that power of altcoins this is for the bitcoin maxis now let's go over to the third largest cryptocurrency by market cap at the time you could argue that maybe it was bnb who cares but cardano was at one point third largest crypto by market cap sometimes last year cardano if you bought it on may 11th 2020 on the exact date that bitcoin halved a price of a single ada was at four cents four cents guys and this is where your last 5k would have gone in right five thousand dollars divided by 0 0.04 would have given you 125,000 ada tokens cardano right and you sold it exactly a year later may 11th 2021 a price of a single ada was at a dollar and 76 cents guys 
you would have made $220,000. So you've seen how each and every altcoin outperformed Bitcoin almost by, they literally left it to zero. You know, if you wanted to play it safe, definitely this is how you would have done it. Sell exactly year to date and you could apply this method. Uh, you can go as far back to the 2016 Bitcoin halving and you sell exactly at 2017 and you would have made a killing doing the same thing even though you would have missed the high by a lot but still you would have made a lot of money because you played it safe now if you add all of this up 220,000 you made with ADA 124,000 you made with Ethereum $33,000 you would have made $377,000 and this is the power of a Bitcoin halving. I always preach it. I was saying it here for a while, but people just didn't get it. So at request, I've finally made a video to explain to you how powerful a Bitcoin halving is. And this is just with three altcoins. Imagine you um, had more dry powder, like 20,000 or 50,000 to throw into the market. And you played right just with the top 10 of the largest cryptos by market cap, you would have made a killing. I did not even mention BNB when it went from $44 all the way to $600 within one year. That's extremely powerful. People don't realize when I say layer ones, layer ones, layer ones, because they are here to stay. They can, yes, they can drop 90% in a bear market, but they have more utilities. They have more use cases. Uh, they are more in tune to stay here long term. All of these projects that I'm talking about, those altcoins are still here and standing. So this is the exact power for a Bitcoin halvening. So you need to navigate the market like that if you are planning to be getting into uh, the cryptocurrency market but you scared of volatility or you just want to play it safe look with bitcoin for example bitcoin's all-time high last year was sixty-nine thousand dollars. sometimes in november uh when if, when you sold at the halving i mean one year after the halving in may of 2021 it was at fifty-seven thousand. that's almost 75 percent of the all-time high if you have a chance to sell that close, you're like close to 80% of the old time high, like you're only that far, you, you're not that far off from the old time high exactly. So you still made enough money, uh, almost the exact same amount where those who sold that old time high would have made. Why I'm explaining this to you is that I want you to understand that uh, don't just tear your money like dashboard money. Uh, if you make so many gains, you wake up one day in crypto, you make so much gains and you're just looking at your screen and you're like, I can't believe I'm making this much money. That's euphoria phase. That might have been the right time to get out of the market and at least sit on fiat or even leave it on stables. You have stable coins now. That's what I do. Sit on stables and just wait for the prices to bottom. Or if you want to take profit to do whatever you want to do with your crypto money, you can. So don't just wait to hit the exact top and buy at the exact bottom. People always do that. Buy at the bottom of the market and sell the top of the market. But they all know that that's extremely difficult to do. So if you want to navigate the market safe, you can pick a date and sell at an exact date year later. What does that do is that it trains your mind to calculate this is how much gains I've made and this is insane. That's good enough for me. So if you turn $15,000 into $377,000, that's better to take that three seventy seven dollars because you, now you have more dry powder. Now uh, you can take your three hundred dollars and just leave a, maybe a fifty dollars now into the market and watch it go down to zero and come back up within the next two three years so that's how you make your money in crypto instead of trying to turn 15k into a million dollars and you wind up your 15k will be back down to 20k because you watch it go all the way that high and down to zero without selling a single one of it and that's how people lose money in crypto they forget to sell things go up everything is high they forget to take profits and they forget to sell so those who got rich with hex they did it this way hex outperformed all of these altcoins but what are the odds that you could have found that unicorn it would be one in a million gazillion times so this is not just i'm just giving you example with the top three if you want to play safe but if you want to take a riskier bet you could have you know gotten with um 
all of those other altcoins now you have your DeFi degen plays uh you can do that you know with drip and elephant and all these other platforms if you make a ton load of profit out of that also don't forget to sell and then stay on your stables maybe uh dca into some of these larger layer ones because you've seen when they appreciate in value how much they outperform bitcoin and they just it's just absolutely insane so with that being said with your help once again share this video to somebody who is maybe newer than you in crypto and they don't understand the market yet they don't understand what time to buy what time to sell this is just one of those methods on the exact day bitcoin halves look at the altcoins they will outperform bitcoin almost every single time year to date you can apply this method going as far back as 2017 with ethereum uh, with some of those litecoin and all these other altcoins and you would see that each and every bull market they actually outperform bitcoin bitcoin is like would be like the gold or the you know store of value while the other altcoins would outperform bitcoin tremendously so do not sleep on altcoins especially layer ones this is not just about holding coins and praying there's a whole math and psychology behind it crypto is just math there's a whole math and psychology behind it that is why i always preach layer ones layer ones layer ones because they're your safest route you don't wake up one day and you uh, see a, an entire altcoin wiped out vanished exit scammed and rug pulled you never seen that in history an altcoin might go down uh 99 you know 90 percent with the light coins and the light coin is like one of the most altcoins that has no use case no utility no nothing but each and every bull market it's been here for the last 10 years giving you new all-time highs go back and study the history of litecoin and you will see exactly what i mean and that's just the power of some of these uh, long-lasting al alternative coins ethereum cardano bnb so lindy effect apply it to them the longer they are here the more the most likely they are going to outperform everything else so randomly you're going to have something like a shiba inu that outperforms them but it will be an overnight success and it's back down same thing with dogecoin i preach meme coins a lot because they have great communities and they do this and they do that but in terms of utility and use cases you're going to want to go with your long terms avalanches you know the bnbs the cardanos and the ethereums and that because within the reality over the next decade that's where one of the winners would come from your facebook's and your amazon's with that being said share this video like it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out